and specifically uh, autonomous agents which are llm based large language model based autonomous agents can be very generic they can be software agents they can be hardware meaning robotic uh, agents but today we are mainly talking about llm based agents in this talk um, i'll of course give you some theoretical background um, and then one implementation based on a framework for autogene why and of course there are multiple uh, agent platforms available even llm agents platforms available but the reason is a uh, reason of choosing autogen is because it is mainly developed by microsoft so that's why chosen this and of course uh, conclusions there um I'll, i'll talk about few other future related uh, things as well uh, so i'll go on uh, speaking and in at some logical uh, intervals i'll let you ask me questions all right all right so uh, i think i'm i'm assuming that everybody everybody must have used chat gpt or bard or whatever all these uh, front ends for the large language models as you can see these are just chatbot like front ends and at the back behind there are large language models chat gpt it is gpt 3.5 instruct model that is available Uh, for uh, bard or gemini gemini model is available and so on and so forth so now uh, typical activities that you can do you can do assignments you can do project reports write emails many things and one of the wonderful things that it can do say i'm taking one example here um, so you are trying to plan a trip uh, for summer vacations you are planning to go somewhere and then you say i, I wish to go to say manali or wherever and give me five day plan Uh, this is family of four uh, two kids two parents whatever to so give some constraints and then let chat uh, gpt or whichever platform that you are using come up with a plan and as you can as you know or probably have experienced it does wonderful job it gives you day wise a uh, split of where you can go where you can book things many many other things also and it Just take into account, say, if you are vegetarian, it will suggest only veg hotels and so on and so forth. I'm sure everybody must have seen this. But bottom line is, these are just um, this is just information. This is just a plan. Right? Uh, this is of course good, but it would be very nice if it is actionable. Actionable meaning some of the things uh, which can be done online. automatically if it does it automatically nothing like it right that's the idea of this so fundamental difference between llm and agent um, is that llms will give you information some llms which are multimodal will generate image also may generate videos also information but when llms are used in a agentic mode they can do action so information and action that's the difference so information is typically by in these llms but using this information if you can act if you can do something if you can call apis if you can do some actions call your local python functions then that becomes agent so that's the difference so in this case a uh, good part would be if uh, this agent can do certain things on its own calling something so action that's the idea all right so uh, some of the things that we can see say airline booking or hotel booking those things if it does on its own uh, it can do few other processing things also meaning if you choose these 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 options of airline or this hotel of this this would be the cost if you choose another path this would be the cost if it can bring that analysis also then it will be uh, you will be able to or you will be better informed to take certain options now one question may come uh, will it do the bookings directly or not so that's the choice actually in, in at least 
so far a prudent thing would be or better thing to check it free uh whatever uh, say ai calls and other things also but the final okay final confirmation lies with you so that you at least have some control and okay yes. so that's the thing uh so from information we are moving to action so that's the idea of this all right uh so these are agents these are llm based agents so those who can act now the uh, word that comes is autonomously that's a very loaded word it is doing something on its own so we autonomous you have to just give high level task and then it will break down the whole thing it will find out which are apiable or callable things and it will do everything on it that's why autonomous agents and these are as i said uh, although the picture shows physical thing these are llm based large language model based so um, what are autonomous agents uh, now they said expert agent expert agents so you can have multiple agents working for a single task so they can do collaboration and uh, there is some examples later but the agents are going to get very very popular because then we need a facility to define agents define their role and their so and give them a task it's like giving a task to a team of agents and they collaborate they work together all based on rules that llm system so these are some of us they will keep their own together finally somebody is with first uh hey you guys sorry to interrupt you but i think uh, everyone is facing some voice issues they are not able to hear you clearly is is it okay now it's going up and down yes Yogesh. yes I mean, it's better now you're fading in and out and can you see my video also yes yes all right all right um, yogesh yogesh looks like yogesh you have to lean in to the microphone hello yeah yeah when you are getting closer to the microphone it's becoming clear yeah, 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 yeah i think it's, yeah it's picking up from my laptop i guess yeah um, so that's the idea so autonomous ai agents is basically a team of agents that you give tasks to and uh, they collaboratively work together and uh, uh, they get the task done any questions so far now i'll wait for any, any questions With that, you can help. Uh, I probably cannot see the chat window. If there are any questions in the chat window, sure, sure. Do you folks allow um, microphone, or is it only through chat? You can raise your hand, and then we can have a question and answer session. Whatever the uh, Yogesh feel comfortable. So, Yogesh, would you like to go in the middle of the session, the question answer, yeah. or would you like to go in the end? So I said uh, at some logical ends, uh, I will ask for a question. So I thought this is one logical end. Okay. Interval, and if there are no questions, I think I'll move on. Okay. So I think Anwar is having some question. He has raised his hand. So guys, if you yeah. have any question, please raise your hand and then Yogesh. unmute yourself. Yogesh, great. Uh, I like the auto agent uh, that you mentioned. Can yeah. you say a few words about? two things one is the large action model that we are hearing right yes. basically and also um, it's really one more concept that we are seeing recently is also the uh, lang chain yeah. um thank you I'll, about... i'll mute myself here thank you yeah um so lang chain is actually closer to what we are doing today so lang chain is a platform where you can uh, have it's an actually an orchestrator you can have multiple llms uh, called in and with help of uh, llms we can build agents agents who have tools to work on so this is the abstraction that langchain provides this is close to what we are uh, talking today a uh, large action models came into popularity recently with if you have heard of this device called r1 this is small pager like device uh, where you can 
talk and it will act for you it will call api rabbit API. that's a rabbit ai yes yes rabbit ai uh, r1 model um so uh, so the model itself will have function api calls available to you. here what we are doing we have llms plus additional function calls addable to it augmentable to it so we are almost mimicking the same thing using llms okay uh we'll move on now if there are no other question so basically uh, three things as we are trying to build autonomous ai agent then we have to have some facility to planning uh, similar to the example that we have seen if you are planning a trip then uh, what to do every day how to uh, do bookings how to do hotel bookings all this planning has to be there in the llm isn't it that information has to be there if i have to go to manali with family of four then it has to know what are the options available so there is a knowledge base available plus breaking of the task decomposition of the task the llm should be able to do next thing of course memory because as we are breaking down the task the information from one task has to be stored somewhere so that the next next task is able to use it isn't it so certain repository of knowledge for this task has to be there so memory aspect has to be there and tools what are tools these are certain actions that are possible these are very close to actions actually say uh, if i have to do airline booking Spice Jet or Indigo. So you have to know API, isn't it? So some function, let's call it a function, which is able to do say, or given a payload, Manali from date to date, this four people should be able to do API call. So certain other tools are. So this is booking tool. Another could be hotel booking tool, uh, but that tool does not have knowledge base. It is just API call. You can. Other tools are calculators. as we have seen some for these 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 bookings that's the budget so somebody has to do calculations search engines so there are many tools possible these tools need not be on internet external but you can have functions your own functions your legacy functions as tools so that they can do your processing okay. so when we are planning to do autonomous Uh, ai agents we have to have this facility why i told about this facility the frameworks ready frameworks that are coming which allow us to define autonomous ai agents will provide this facility isn't it um so langchain also has some uh, agents but they are not autonomous per se uh, but we can mimic just that you thing yogesh we lost your voice again is it okay now yes yes okay. um i think i have to be okay. so uh, these are the task breakdown architecturally so given a task from the user we have to decomposition then the next uh, bullet point is very important now say uh, we have already defined 10 20 tools the ones that that we do airline booking say indigo booking spice jet booking star booking some hotel bookings all these things are available on its platter now llm has to decide which is the next logical selection of tool isn't it that's very important task the next uh, point is of course execution execution and the last is once everything is done all the information is available then final output generation uh, so this is the flow in which autonomous ai agents will work so so far we we saw what are agents how they are different from llms then how the uh, what are the architectural or blueprint and this is the flow that's what we have covered so far 
probably we'll take one or two examples and things will get clear. All right. So these are some of the examples, uh, very popular. Uh, Baby Asia, if you have heard, Auto GPD, GPD, and there are many, many more. Uh, just yesterday or just days back, I'll ask everybody now, there's a wonderful agent that has come, which is going to replace at least the software engineer one level. Anybody who knows about this agent? I think I just heard called Devin, called Devin. Perfect. Perfect. Devin is, is going to replace at least the junior level programmers. At least that's the potential it has. So it's basically given a task. I, I think the demo what we have seen uh, shows that uh, the guy asked him to build an app, whatever simple app, uh, and is able to do all the things, front end, back end, everything. Is able to do. So of course, we are not going to show that today. Autogen will see. I see two examples of how autogen useful in declaring or rather specifying agent. You just don't coding also too much, but uh, specification more. Uh, any questions so far? Now we are going to see two examples, and probably that's what it. But we'll uh, go in details one by one. Yeah. I think there are no questions. We'll go uh, with one simple example first. Some very good project. Simple example. Equation type of example. Then group uh, agents kind of. So what is Autogen? This is by Microsoft. And Uh, sorry, Yukish, again, everyone is facing a voice issue. Okay. Uh, is it is it better now? Yes. All right. I'm sorry for that. I, I don't know what happens. Uh, same equipment, everything is same, but still. Anyway, so um, in Autogen, uh, we can define agents, define their roles, uh, define interaction also, and uh, then give it a task to then on its own it decides the planning it decides the execution sequence and actually it is wonderful to watch how they break uh, the task and how they execute so i personally use them uh, as actually a brainstorming kind of uh, framework when a task how they are able to do uh, splitting and uh, what are the things that it is doing step by step do that. So I have to uh, build a software. I use them as a bit of a conceptual understanding uh, tool. So, uh, as I said, it's a flexible framework where you can define rules. It is developed by not just Microsoft, but uh, Pennsylvania, Penn State, and then Washington University, Shikian, many other people's research is available. It is open source. You yourself can also contribute to open source on uh, GitHub. You can easily search. All right. So, what are the key components? As we can imagine, uh, it has customizable agents where you can specify LLM. What do I mean by then? Open chat GPT model, open source model. Yeah, you can sorry to interrupt you, but again, everyone is facing this voice issue. Okay. Uh, is it better now? Hello? Yes. Uh, I'll repeat. 
So main components are uh, LLMs, where you can have different types of LLMs, open AI based LLMs, GPTs, or any other open source also using a uh, third party tools like Olama or, or LM Studio, so on and so forth. Another thing that you can have, you can have human proxy, human in loop kind of arrangement also, where you get confirmation in between the execution. Another thing that you can do tools or combinations of these. So agents can do uh, multiple things. These are applications and these are different interaction architectures are available. And patterns are available. We see two patterns to uh, this. All right. So while defining or building multiple agent conversations, two steps basically. Define agents. Define agents meaning their roles. What do they represent? What are they supposed to behave? What are their expertise? This is what definition of agents. Another thing is define the interaction between uh, how they are supposed to how they are supposed to do one after another, or they are they part of a group with a manager. That kind of pattern can define the flow. I default Google uses OpenAI GPT, GPT models. Uh, so you have to have OpenAI key. So that's the default thing. I'll show those examples only. But I myself have tried uh, open source model in place of OpenAI GPTs. And the way to do it, I have explained in a medium blog. You can search with my name and Autogen open source. It is three, four words. Medium, you can see a uh, big article how to open source model in place of AI APIs. Then, uh, and this, uh, after that, you have to use the uh, lens to serve the local language. So, so far, okay. I think then we have to uh, move on to actual examples, some code snippets. Any questions so far? So far, that you can see. No. All right. If anyone is any, having any questions, please raise your hand or unmute yourself. All right. So I think I'm assuming that um, the basic idea of what agent is here and how autogen arranges theoretically. Um, so agent definition. All right. So we are. Uh, I'm showing some code snippets now. Um, no need to uh, look at them very carefully. Just get some sense. So this is how you specify that you are using OpenAI APIs, as you can easily see. Which model the GPT for? Then you have to put your OpenAI key base and many other things. So this is just a specification of which uh, LLM model that you are going to use for this purpose. I think it's uh, straightforward here. Okay, just to check that we have got uh, LLM working. How do we check? We put a query, right? So uh, who are you? Tell it in two lines. So this is how, if you can see the third line, Import autogen question and then response. So this is very similar to any other framework. Select Langchain also we can do similar things or even open AI APIs in Python. You can do put a prompt, get a response by specifying LLM. So this is just checking that um, this uh, autogen is working well with the given LLM. If you are getting decent answer here, we are good to go for specifying agents now. So there are different types of agents. Okay, uh, I've, I'm showing three, two here and one later. Okay, one is user proxy agent. Now I'm going to read a bit. Um, a proxy for human, meaning if you are if you are planning to get input from user while doing processing, then this agent is very useful. Okay, it is um, it is it is allowed to ask. Uh, 
will allow to take human input. Another one is very standard assistant agent. It can do different roles. This is more generic one. If you want to do really, really autonomous things, then you define just assistant agents. Different roles. One can be a researcher, one can be a coder, one can be a weather person. Many, many things are possible. And the way you define role is via a variable called system message. You may not remember this. Such tutorials are amply available on their GitHub, but I'm just giving you one example here. And then each agent can send and receive methods. That's what, right? We are defining agents and they can communicate amongst themselves, send and receive. That's it. That's a simple example of two agent system. They're just talking among themselves. That's the idea. But they're talking amongst themselves to perform a task that you, have, you will get. That's right. All right. So once the agents are defined, then you can say initiate chat with assistant. I'm just reading this thing and the message is whatever you want to get accomplished. Then user proxy generates a send message, sends to assistant. Assistant does something, sends response back. Then if the task is not done fully, user proxy also sends, receives. So such to and fro starts happening. The dialogue happens and at certain end, at certain step, the task is accomplished and the interaction stops. This is again very theoretical. I'll show you one example, but uh, if there are any questions so far, ask. Uh, I had one question, Yogesh. So here we are using the Azure library. Uh, is it is it paid? The question. Uh, so, so we are using the Azure library right here. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Is so, it paid? Yes, of course, uh, OpenAI APIs are paid. But as I was saying uh, just a slide back, uh, if you have open source model which are free, you will be able to replace them as well. So, of course, Azure uh, AI based on whatever subscription plan that you have uh, would incur cost. Yeah, open your APIs will incur cost, but what about this library? The HCL library is getting used here, right? With HCL? No, Azure, I mean Microsoft Azure. Uh, Microsoft Azure is for the open AI API call, uh, the LLM. Okay. Yeah, the LLM can be paid LLM like Azure open AI APIs, or it can be open source, local one also. That's what I mentioned. Okay. The Autogen library itself is open source, free. Okay. Okay. All so right. One question from my side. Yeah. Uh, so if if uh, if we are building a chatbot kind of thing, right? And if we are using these agents, autonomous agents at all, and uh, for, uh, in a dialogue scenario, right? If something is going wrong, right? Can we? Uh, provide a dialogue to a user saying that yes. uh, this is uh, not going in the correct path. Some, correct. Some order, that's, that sort uh, can be done. Yes, so that's what I just mentioned. If you, are, if you are using user proxy agents, then we can prompt it uh, by design just to see if the answer is correct or ask us, meaning you, uh, us, whether the interaction is going properly or not. The user proxy type of agent is uh, able to ask us also, uh, the one who is giving the task. Assistant agent is almost autonomous. It will do on its own. Okay. I'll show you one example. Of course, um, this session won't be enough to cover all the possibilities. And look at the GitHub repo uh, if you're interested and see how it is done. Uh, the proxy agent is able to ask us. Yeah. Yogesh. Yeah, one more question and then move on. Yeah, please. Yeah, Yogesh, uh, the last question prompted me to ask this. Yeah. Uh, is there a way to de determine a goal function? 
Yes. And and make sure that you are kind of just like a gradient descent. You are moving towards the goal, actually. Absolutely. Actually, uh, once you define two agents, we give the goal, right? A task to accomplish. Plan trip for my family to Manali. That's the goal, right? They are trying to achieve it. No, but let's say let's say you give a secondary goal saying I want to fit everything within uh, uh, one lakh rupees. Sure. So that's uh, that's the main goal itself. Only one goal at a time. Um, okay. So once the goal is given, that uh, is decomposed and then then uh, taken to different paths. Uh, I mean, task decomposition is done. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So a very uh, primitive, simplistic example. Uh, so I'll wait here for a second for you to, it's simple Python. Even if you don't know Python, I think it is verbose enough. So I'm defining um, two agents. Again, user proxy agent is also possible, but I'm using two assistant agents as of now, just to give you flavor of the code, how you define things. Um, if I can, sorry. Uh, if you can see my cursor as well, I'm defining a small named agent or big named agent. Uh, what is small agent? Is a student, right? And who is big? Uh, is a teacher. Of course, I've given very uh, simplistic prompts here, not practical prompt, but you can have you can specify the role in very elaborate way also. So I'm a, a student of biology of eight standard, so on and so forth, right? So that this agent will behave as if it's a student of biology at, of eight standard. And here also you can specify very elaborately system messages to do a role definition. So once you define two roles, and you can see here, we are specifying the LLM and then temperature, meaning how much creative you can you want to go or how much Definitive, you want to. Once these two agents are defined, you just initiate the chat. That's it. A big is or too small, and this is the thing. So, this is a very Noise is again breaking. Uh, is it okay now? Yes. I think the code is very simple. Uh, any question in the code? Of course, as I said, this is not a practical example, but just to show you code layout. So in this uh, uh, code, we will need a big assistant uh, response. I did not get the question. So uh, in the last line, we are uh, initiating the chat with the big assistant. Big so is initiating chat with the small. Basically, big is asking small, who are you? Okay. So but, uh, as I said, this is an abstraction. You can have this thing tailored for your own problem. I'll show you one specific problem also. All right, I think I'll move on. So this is how the interaction happens. I'm just showing you the uh, response generated. But I think you, I think I'll suggest you to try on your own. I'll take one concrete example also. Okay, meaning not. Uh, very uh, fictional like this. Okay. So, so far, we have seen this type of interaction. Can we see? Uh, of course, it was assistant agent, two guys talking to each other. Yes, but there is another pattern which is possible a manager talking to his or her team. You can have different agents within a group, and you can have a group manager. And the, we give tasks to group manager to perform, and the group manager decides how to distribute. This is more practical way of interaction, isn't it? So we'll see one uh, small example of that. All right. Uh, so 
uh, just take it as an example. Say uh, you want to uh, do, uh, you want to collect uh, stock prices of certain um, company. So here I've said the Meta and Tesla, any company. So get the data from say any API about these two ta tasks from last year and then plot them. Now I'm trying to define two agents. One is the guy who will fetch me the data, stock data. And another guy who's a programmer, matplotlib programmer, Python programmer, once given, a, given the data fetched by the stock guy, try to do matplotlib. Plot. So now this is a, a group manager kind of activity. A group chat manager comes in the picture. And you can have not just these two, you can have multiple such uh, agents and then a group chat manager who will divide the work amongst them. I'll just show you example which is available. So uh, here uh, the complexity has increased which task to take first. Now you cannot do plotting before you are getting data, right? So you have to get the data. So that LLM decides. So selecting the next player is a complex thing, but LLMs are smart enough nowadays based on the tool definition. If they are doing task tracking, get data, do plotting. Now get data out of uh, the three, four agents that, that have been defined, which one is more suitable, it will decide that next one. Get the data, pass the data on to uh, the next, the Python programmer. Probably not going fast, uh, but now I will wait here for you to just see this little lens slide. I'll go one by one. The list is nothing but LLM space. This is the stock guy. You can see. He'll fetch the data. You are financially, you'll fetch it. This, this is the programmer guy who will plot the graph. And this, this is this guy is sort of a manager, manager, lead kind of guy who will get the analyst to fetch this. This guy also can get, uh, I say, these guys work together in a group chat manner. Okay. These guys are, as you can see, Agent one, agent two, agent three. Now a group chat has been provided and manager has been of LLM. User procedure whichever first is the one we have done. There is a framework related constraint or, or norm. The first initiative manager regarding that now manager has start the work. So the chart of media. Uh, hey, are you Yogesh? Yeah, your voice is again fitting. Okay, is it better now? Yes. Yeah. So. Again, this is a very cooked up example, but I'll suggest just to give you lay of the land, how a specification and how initiation of chat happens. We saw two examples. One is just two people, and this is a group example. Now, if you can imagine, this can be used to do research also, a multidisciplinary research. I am a researcher. And I have one guy who will look at, say, biology related research paper. Another guy will look at physics related news uh, research papers. Another guy will do extractions of programmer. All these guys will work together to do uh, market research or research research for me, PhD research for me, and give me a list of things I should look at. Isn't it? Many multiple possibilities are there. So multiple ways in which you can do uh, this pattern interaction. By the way, this is the paper. 
all you are little inclined towards this topic autogen by microsoft this is gluten and these diagrams are of that so basically an abstraction facility to provide agent definition and interaction that's the bottom line any application um, uh, Show you two examples. Many applications. Sky is the limit where you uh, you can imagine how uh, these things are still coming up. They are not very definitive in nature, and at the at the background there are there are the You know, we have that will be wonderful. You know, so I'll just quickly go over the conclusion. Of Uh, sir, Yukesh, but your voice is again fading. Okay. Um, is it okay now? Yes. Okay. So, as I said, uh, they'll do uh, planning, they'll do decomposition, they'll do tool calling, next player calling, and they'll get the task done and we'll generate the response. Okay. A little bit self promotion. Uh, if you can find out, this is my sketch note. Uh, a single page sketch note on autonomous AI agents. What are the things that are there? Uh, you may just have to search. Uh, I'm a couple of blogs by me on uh, Medium. Just search my name and this topic, and you will see this as well. All right. This is going to grow. Basically, this is because it has potential to get things done. Basically, as LLMs progress. As the tools progress, uh, the more automation is going to be possible by this. And we have already started seeing Devin and others. More Devins are going to come, more powerful Devins are going to come. And the final slide this is going towards the uh, most coveted topic AGI, uh, artificial general intelligence, the intelligence that is. Human like or other surpassing human factories. So, so, these are the steps, this is the direction. Once they become powerful, they will be agent definition. We are almost going beyond the references. Uh, these are my articles on the same topic. Oh, sorry, and there are some other examples. Uh, um, so I'll, I'll wait here for questions. Um, this is probably my LinkedIn. Uh, you are interested in follow me uh, uh, Connections are full, but yes, uh, I'll wait here for the questions now. Till here. Yogesh, Yogesh, I'll ask um, a wonderful presentation. Loved, uh, learned yeah. a lot about Autogen. Um, is is there a way to specify a DAG to the um, wonderful? And that's one question, but related to that also. So imagine as if uh, um, you know a, a company SMB is mm -hmm. uh, it does like let's just say Mahindra a, wants to build uh, jeeps, and now they have a way of designing CAD, then PLM, and then uh, taking it to production. So can can two agents be formed here? One is the um, one is that playing the teacher, and the other is playing the student. In this case, uh, Mahindra has codified all the design, uh, the the PLM, whatever that is. In this case, there is no PLM because, uh, of course, uh, when when uh, the agent designs it, uh, there is no issues actually. There's no ECOs there. So my point is that can the, can these two roles be codified for an enterprise to carry out its uh, business process? So you had two questions. Uh, I'll ask, answer the second. Absolutely. 
at least in principle as of now. Uh, but now, uh, as I said, the precondition is that the LLMs, individual LLMs, say a CAD LLM or uh, a PLM LLM, should be able to give the call and get the drawings done. Once the drawings are there, then send them to the manufacturing guard to do process planning, execution. So individual APIs and LLMs should be powerful enough. Orchestration is just probably commodity later on. Um, then I'll ask, answer the first one, that. Um, directed a cyclic graph is what I think you are hinting at. Uh, so, so far we have seen uh, linear interaction, one after another, one after another. So this is sequential, linear. What uh, he's asking is, is a graph possible, not cyclic, a cyclic, meaning it, things don't come back. So now land graph, sister framework of land chain, land chain is chain. Land graph, graph, there will be able you faded it out oh, uh, is it okay now yes uh, i think i think i'm well over time now uh, i'll stop here thank you all thanks for the opportunity and sorry for this whatever sound thing, uh, it is going in sinusoidal wave, I guess. Uh, yeah, thank you. Over to you, Smita. <laughs>